Now when you're using this for F3B uh, or F3J for your duration task, you're going to require the GPS unit as well, the GPS sense. That's going to give you the glide ratio for every 100 seconds. Now, if you set your glider up, you can actually maximise your time in the air for the duration. You can maximise your efficiency for the amount of distance you cover for a given amount of altitude that you lose. That's going to give you your, your LD, your lift over drag ratio. And obviously your speed run, you can actually get the GPS to uh, the LPD and the Vario set up so that it will announce the speed constantly. Just keep refreshing it again, message after message, which will give you the ability to trim your glider for the op for optimum. That's going to be basically uh, marrying up with what you feel the glider is doing, as well as what the GPS and the data is telling you it's doing. Because if the glider is coming towards you, it seems like it's climbing, it's going away, it's going to seem like it's descending. If it's going uh, crosswind or going from left to right or your field of vision, you might not be quite right. This is either going to back you up or it's going to say that you're incorrect with your uh, assumptions. Now when you set up the uh, data vario, you have the ability to program in a three position switch. I use my left slider um, simply because I've got no other switches left. And if you're running uh, a glider which has electric assist and you're using a throttle on your other slider, then you've only, got, you've only got so much left, especially if you're running multiple modes uh, and most of the F3 uh, camp are running uh, a landing mode, launch mode, a cruise mode, thermal and uh, also a zoom or reflex uh, mode as well. So I put it on the slider and I can, you can program it in so that you have uh, specific uh, amounts of throws, 100 in one direction, 130 in the next direction and center is obviously zero. That's going to allow the data vario, when it's, when it's uh, put into the correct channel on your receiver, to be able to enter the programming mode remotely. Now, obviously you don't want to program while you're in the air, but you program on the ground, and if, you're, if you've changed the types of, of sensors you've got attached to the data vario, you're going to want to be able to uh, look at those functions while you're flying. This is the reason, this, this first ring is the reason for the uh, slider on the, um, the switch on the slider is simply for flicking across the same way you do a um, program a speed controller. It has the same type of mentality or uh, in the way it functions. The second part is that you have at least six, seven, possibly even eight types of functions you can uh, run through while you're in the air simply by using the slider. For instance, if it's in the center position, it's pretty much, I've got it set up so that it's just giving me the vario signal for uh, looking at thermal, um, uh, thermal uh, thermals that are out and about, or thermal air or sinking air. I've also got it set up so that if I go down, it puts it into kind of a rest mode or a pause mode where I'm not hearing the beep all the time. You might be getting annoyed with it or the, um, you already might be in the thermal and you don't want to know about it. Uh, it also gives you, even in those functions, uh, your battery voltage, uh, it, it can give you your altitude. There's about uh, 19 setup functions in all, but from the standard that, that comes with the, uh, the data vario, I only changed three. And one, the first one was setup number four, that's the speed. When I go into a particular position and I want to have the speed announced to me, I want it to be continuous. If you're talking about uh, looking at your speed uh, for programming up uh, or trimming up an F3B uh, glider, for instance, you want it to be continuous and you want to hold that for quite some period of time and let it balance out. Just a note, when you're doing all this programming for, uh, for your um, LD or your uh, duration tasks, minimum, which is minimum sync, you really want to do it in dead still air. You don't want any wind whatsoever because that's going to blow out your readings. Because remember, it's taking GPS coordinates for the speed and matching that up with your, for your glide ratio with your altimeter and how much you're losing. And it's done over 100 seconds, so you really want still air. And that's going to give you your best benefits, and that's when you test uh, for your best um, minimum sink and, and LD anyway.